Raise this barn, raise this barn, one, two, three, four. Together we can raise this barn, one, two, three, four. Up, 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 go the beams, hammer those joints, work in teams. Turn them around, quick by the right elbow, grab a new partner, here we go. So we're here at Beach Ball Comics about to interview Tom, Heather, and Amy from the new um, My Little Pony comic series from 5 through 10, if I do if I do remember that's it. So let's get started. Hi everyone, we're here at Beach Ball Comics with Tom, sorry, with Amy, Heather, and Tom. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so. So how, did, how exactly did you guys got into the My Little Pony, in the making of the My Little Pony comic? Well, um, Heather and I were working on uh, Strawberry Shortcake comics with Abe and uh, Sesame Street, and uh, we found out with everybody else at Comic-Con that uh, My Little Pony comic was coming. And uh, uh, I think basically, I think I'd posted, a friend of mine posted a sketch I'd done of Derpy onto Twitter, and next thing I knew I had an email from, uh, from the editor at IDW saying, hey, do you want to come and try out? And I went, yeah, in <laughs> slightly more profane language than that, but... Uh, yeah, so I, I tried in and we had to be approved by Hasbro and uh, I was and he put me straight to work on lots and doing lots and lots of covers mm -hmm. So that's how I got in. Was it the same for you? Um, for me it was, uh, I found out, just like Amy said, mm -hmm. <laughs> that they were going to do the comic and then um, I actually emailed one of the editors there and asked if I could pitch and um, he said go for it and luckily it all kind of worked out. I found out at Comic Con. Um, <laughs> I work with IDW on Love and Capes anyway, so I've got a relationship with them. And uh, I went over, and I'm about six foot four and kind of imposing. And I talked to the editor, and uh, I originally was just trying to get cover work. Um, and then it became, Do you want to pitch on the micro series? And it took off from there. Okay, awesome. Um, so, where else exactly can we find your work exactly uh, as an art or writing? Um, well, I have a Tumblr page, amymeveson.tumblr.com, and that's where I post basically most of the stuff I do. Um, I also am a fine artist with Acme Archives, and uh, my first Star Wars piece will be coming out on May the 4th. And there will be, uh, there will be more um, Disney fine art and prints to come out after that, so it's all, uh, it's all very exciting. Um, yeah, you can find my stuff here at the comic shop. Yeah. Uh, lots of strawberry shortcake, and I see a Fraggle Rock on the floor over there. Um, also, later this year, hopefully, How to Train Your Dragon will be out. And um, in the fall, I'll have a graphic novel version of Monster High coming out. Uh, you can find all my stuff at loveandcapes.com. Um, that'll link you to my uh, personal site, uh, tomz.com, T H O M Z.com. Uh, yeah, and the fourth. Love and Capes Trade came out a couple weeks ago. That wraps up that series for now. I'm taking a break from it and going to work on other stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about. <laughs> do you guys have a specific way, a style of drawing? If so, do you have a name for it? Style of drawing? Uh, Heather gives me a script and I make it look pretty, basically. <laughs> um, I mean, I've, I, uh, I've come from an animation background, so um, I'm... Fairly, I can adapt fairly quickly to different styles, different characters, and all that kind of stuff. You sort of practice for a little bit, and uh, basically, has as um, Hasbro are pretty good with different people, artists using different styles. Basically, as long as you keep the appeal and the recognition of the characters, so that it's not too, it's not too unusual that people can still look at look at the comic and see the characters they know and love. So, um, but. As far as a method or a style, no, it's um, it's just my own style, and I try to I try to stay very respectful of the cartoon. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I don't draw, so I don't have a particular style. <laughs> well, I call my style awesome. Um, I I uh, went to the Kubert School, and I tried drawing straight superhero stuff for a while, um, and then I found Darwin Cook and the Justice League animated stuff, and that's. That's kind of the stuff that I've been sucked into. And I found out it was like, why was I trying not to draw like this for a while? I found my wheelhouse and took off from there. 
Okay, awesome. Um, how do you guys found out about the bronies and what do you guys think of them? I am not going to say I am I am not a brony. I am just someone who just enjoys the show very much. I mean, um, I have to say I don't really frequent the brony sites that much. I just dip in to see what news is in news is there. But uh, for the most part, I just focus on making making a good all ages comic. And if the, the bronies like it, that's a bonus. But bottom line is, uh, as long as Hasbro is happy, that's, <laughs> that's really all I care about. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess I found out about the bronies pretty much the same way everybody else does, Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm very glad they're around in such a, a community that really enjoys My Little Pony. They were like the Vorlons to me. They were just always there. Um, <laughs> and then I like them just fine. I like anyone who buys my stuff. So I'm easy that way. What do you guys use to ink your drawings? I use a very expensive piece of computer equipment. <laughs> I do everything on a Cintiq monitor. Um, so I pencil it and digitally ink it, except for my covers where I, um, I get a piece, I do it the old fashioned way, by hand. And uh, I generally use, oh, what do I use? Just the good old Pigma Micron pens that uh, a, lot of, a lot of comic pros use. So um, yeah, fairly simple there. Um, I don't draw. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't learned in like that. Um, I, uh, I ink mostly in brush. I use Raphael number two. Um, I used to use Winsor Newton Series 7. I kind of go back and forth, but these days it's mostly the Roth and uh, Micron pens. And then I take it in, scan it, and mess with it a little bit on my Cintiq. Okay. Now, now, this question is specifically for Tom. Um, how exactly did you come up with the um, references to other media in pony form? For example, in the micro series of Twilight Sparkle, uh, around the end of uh, the comic, there is a reference to Barnes and Nobles uh, as uh, Barnes and Nobel. How exactly did you came up with the references on that? Um, some of them were just easy puns that I was trying to mm -hmm. put into pony language. Um, that one was pretty clear. The, there's one that happens where they're talking about a book called I Have No Snout and Yet I Must Winnie. And that is actually, the, the story they tell is actually a story about um, Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. And it's actually about a professor who taught the book wrong and Harlan was in the class because he said, oh, this is why the, the author did it like this. And Harlan says, no, it's not. So that, that specifically was that reference that I was doing. And then um, some of it was the, the Daring Do stuff um, because I wanted to make sure that I was acknowledging the existing pony literature in the book as well. Final question. Do you guys have any future plans? <laughs> keep, just, just keep drawing to sound like Dory for a second here. Um, yeah, no, it's, we're planning, we're busy planning the next, uh, the next series of uh, of My Little Pony, and I mean we're yeah we're we're not really we can't really talk about what's coming up. So, um, but for now, Heather and I mean Katie and Andy are going to resume on issues nine to twelve of My Little Pony. So uh, after that, we're not sure what's yeah. going to happen next. So again, no, nothing I'm afraid we can talk about because we've signed pieces of paper that don't <laughs> let us. So <laughs> um, yeah, exactly what Amy said. Pretty much, we're just going to keep working and plugging at it and uh, trying to bring you guys good stories. I'm going to head dinner tonight <laughs> yeah. and see Thrilling Adventure yeah. Hour, yeah. and that's kind of my day. Um, I have more pitches in for ponies, and there is other stuff happening with IDW that I'm not allowed to say. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you guys for having, uh, for having time and stuff. Thank you, thank you uh, Amy, Heather, and Tom. Well, you guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I made, made all this happen. <laughs> so, see you guys later. Made all this happen. <laughs> see you guys later. Four. So let's a wood come off the ground, hold them up and nail them down. Turn them around quick by the left elbow, grab a new partner, here we go.